Okay, so this is Gilded Souls. This is the format of it. As you can see, it's like a chess grid. You can zoom in, but there are a couple things that are different. For one, there's decoration on the board that blocks units. Uh, there is also a um, larger variety of units and uh, there's a theme to the map. This world is called Cosmic Chaos. And so I wanna go over the user interface and explain a little bit about the game. So first of all, on every map, there are different units, there are different themes. This map is Cosmic Chaos. And so you win by killing the other player's Cosmic King. And so uh, you have all the different units that do different things. Like you have a Holy Warrior, which does buffs. An arcane fox which is a defensive magic caster you have healers you have a resurrector you have a unit that can give haste lightning mage you know storm drake you have all these different units that can do different things uh, you can click on the unit while you're in inspect mode if you see this up here this is the action mode bar that lets you switch to different action modes right now i'm in inspect mode or select mode lets me select different units when I press U, I toggle the visibility of the unit control panel, which allows me to see all of the stats for a unit and their abilities. Every unit has three abilities, and I can press A to make the ability preview panel appear or disappear, and it says what an ability does. So iridescent light, cost two. If I mouse over it, it gives you a description of the spell. Magnitude, eight. And then if I see what it is, it's a heal. So it heals a, it directly heals a unit. It's unit direct and it's on a square. And this is the pattern of it. So that's what it, uh, let me see, did that do that? Okay. Um, so that is the ability preview panel. And so when you're playing the game, if you don't have all the abilities memorized, you click on a unit and then press F1, F2, or F3 to switch your selected ability. Notice it goes red. And then you can look at the ability preview panel to see what an ability does. And so what are the action mode bar icons up here? These are very important. Inspect or select move mode. So I select a unit, uh, I can then move it. This is the attack mode icon for attacking other units if I was closer. Ranged attack, magic attack ability mode and there's f1 f2 f3 to change between ability 1 f2 f3 and then end turn uh, this on the left is the game status panel it lets you know things that have happened like when the unit moves it adds that here or when you use an ability it adds that here um, this right here is the jukebox i paid for a soundtrack for the game. lower the volume a little bit but let's see i'll put on one of, one of the this is a theme song for the game. And so this is the general format of the game. It should give you an idea. It's like chess or with Dungeons and Dragons or World of Warcraft elements. You have your healers, you have your tanks. Like this bear here is very tanky, has high armor, um, high attack, but it's slow. Whereas this unit is highly mobile. It can go almost across the entire board, for example. I've noted that the game is internet enabled. It is played over the internet through my server which I think is really cool. It's an online game, and eventually I want to add some MMO-like features, like an open world and dungeons, but chess-based dungeons and a chess-based world, a grid, basically, but a grid that extends beyond the screen. Um, and then I am going to show you guys a different level. This is my server, and this has just got a couple settings. I'm just going to change the theme to Marksman's Meadow. I'm going to relaunch the game. <laughs> Okay, so there's a lot going on here. Uh, this right here on the right is the Game Master Test Center panel. I can use it to do things like add to the board or add a change the wind from let's say north. Well, let's say I'll leave it at north. And let's say I want to make my fire tornadoes move, tornado move. moves and it 
leaves a uh, fire behind it. Note that tornadoes have a chance to move whenever you trigger the tornado movement function. They don't always move. So there's like it mimics natural weather. And so at the end of the turn, based off of the direction of the wind, the wind is north. Uh, the fire tornadoes will move. The, thun the thunderstorms will move. I'm going to make the wind go towards the east, change the wind direction. Notice the wind compass up here changes. I'm going to make the snow move. Over time and leaves ice behind it. And so there's a, that's the Game Master panel that controls weather uh, for testing purposes. But the overall vision of this level is that you have your Forest King and your Marksman, which have the ability Elemental Shot. An elemental shot changes its abilities depending on which element you have selected. So if I use, uh, just like with the Game Master panel, I could summon a thunderstorm for testing purposes. In the actual match itself, if I select my marksman and use elemental shot, I have lightning select summon a thunderstorm. Or if I have another one, I've already used an ability with this unit, so I can't use, use another ability. So if I select fire, I summon a fire uh, ability and the fire can spread over time. And so all these different elements at the bottom, there are seven of them. When you select them, they can use a buff or a heal on your ally. They can affect the terrain in some way, like causing a fire or a snowstorm or a thunderstorm, or I can, you know, make water. You know, make water. Um, and so in this specific map, Marksman's Meadow, this map is more complicated than the first map, Cosmic Chaos. You know, it's like chess, but there are these dynamic weather elements. You know, you have fire tornadoes that spread fire and the wind changes direction and the thunderstorms do damage to units that are nearby them, etc. But this should give you enough of a view of the game to let you know if you're interested in helping either as a tester or a game designer. Uh, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. This level is still in alpha. I've only been making it for the last couple of weeks, but it's come along really well. And that's I, literally yesterday is in Christmas Eve. I made the Game Master uh, Test Center panel for being able to precisely test the wind uh, elements to make sure that they're all working properly. This level is not working perfectly just yet. It's about 90, 95% of the way there, but getting that last 5% down is very tricky when you have all these different weather elements that all play into each other uh, in different ways. But yeah, this is a quick overview of the game. Thanks.